Hello and welcome back to our channel. It's just me today and it is a post Christmas what I got for Christmas video. I can't believe Christmas has been and gone. It always happens. The build up is so massive and then it goes and you're like, eh? But it's been amazing. We've had a really, really good Christmas and as always, I've done very, very well. So I thought I'd do a quick run through of what I got for Christmas. I hope everyone watching this has had a fantastic Christmas themselves. And yeah, I kind of try to organise things into uh, categories. I got some music, so one of my favourite films this year was A Star Is Born. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful film. I, I am dying to watch it again. I can't kind of quite capture how emotional it was. Like if you've not seen it, you need to see it when it comes out. I took a selfie after watching it because my, like, emotion but that is a beautiful film and the soundtrack is beautiful itself so I managed to get the um, whole soundtrack it is the special deluxe edition beautiful film go check it out the other one is one of my main loves in life Michael Bublé I got his I think it's the love album um, I'm not sure what it, the album itself is called but oh you can't go wrong I love him he is a dream. I love him all times of year, not just Christmas. Then I got the nice smelly things. So I've done really well for this. I've got a Lush. Um, this is a Sunnyside Bubble Bar. It smells beautiful. And it looks like I'd leave the bar looking like a blooming um, gold goddess. Like it's just pure gold and glitter. Oh, I'm very excited to use this. That's amazing. So, oh, it's left me looking gold. Like I, I could be an Oscar. 2019 goals. And along with that, I also got the, all oh, the jingle ladies, all oh, the jingle ladies, all oh, the jingle ladies, all oh, the jingle ladies. This is a Bomb Cosmetics bag of pure delight. It smells delicious. I haven't opened it. I thought I'd save it for now. It does say what it has in it and they all look amazing. I can't open it. Put your hands up. Open the clock up. Okay, there's a whole lot of like hay stuff. Oh, they're all in the. Oh, so cute. Got a little snowman thing with Jiggy going on there. And got a. Oh, this is like a, a blobby one, but it looks really nice. got a little angel on it can you see her she looks like she's seen some things but that is pretty amazing I'm excited to use this oh this is like a rose one like it's a bit rose like smells rose like oh this is pretty oh it's got pink glitter mm. you know I like all of the glitter it's got pink glitter it smells like a dream that'll be my general review smells like a dream oh this looks a bit like a kind of Christmas pudding thing. That's really nice. Believe this to be the last one. Oh, and this has got swirly bits. Swirly, 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 swirly. So, that is seven bath bombs. And a bath, what was it called? Bubble bar. So, I'm gonna have a very um, nice smelling end of the year, I think. I'm very excited to use those. So I'm going to go on from there to, I know basically you're probably waiting for the Disney bit. Maybe you're waiting for the Disney bit? Um, there is Disney, I will throw that out there now. But I'm not going to do Disney yet because I'm going from bath bomb area, which I think is well-being, to a kind of well-being general bit. So um, I always keep a bullet journal. That is part of my getting my head sorted. I like writing this. I find it keeps me really focused. And I've just managed to literally finish it perfectly. Like my last page is like the last of December. So um, I've got a new one. And it's, I like this brand for bullet journals. I don't get the dotted pages. I just get them blank and I just go for it. I don't mind if it's a bit messy. It's my, it's my book, it's up to me. And this one's really cute because I got it from my mother. Thank you, Move. 
and it says Naomi book two so everyone will know that's mine and I get to start that and I'm very excited and along in line with that I got given a one line a day a five-year memory book which I think is such a nice idea and basically you have it set out so you start literally oh okay I get it a bit more now so you literally start on the 1st of January and you write the top line what year it is so 2019 1st of January you write one line to sum it up but on that page it's got one two it's got five sections so the following year 2020 I go back to the beginning again and I get to write about it and I'll be able to look upon last year and see I, I think that's a really nice idea really like that I, I haven't seen anything like it so I'm excited I like things like that also I love little quote things I've got this beautiful quote and it says and I, it's got bling in it and you know I like glitter and stuff those good friends are like stars you don't always see them but you know they're there which I think is very very sweet and I will find a very nice place for that beautiful this made me tearful I got some coasters and I opened them and these are from my friend Lottie and she got me two which have got us in them which is lovely really nice and they, they were good times that we had she got one of me and Maria in Disney and then this was the one that made me tear up because she got one of me and my my Jazzy and unfortunately I lost Jazzy last Christmas and she's my basically my soulmate still and I get very sad so I'm not going to talk about it but I love her like she's everything to me and so to have her on a coaster and I can have that always um is very nice and her little wrinkly face so I did tear up when I opened that and so I'm very very grateful thank you Lottie this was a surprise our mum has gone and made us some presents and we've got one on the door I'll put a photo of that here Ta -da! she's also made one for each of our doors inside of like a pom-pom reef how cute is that like that's amazing and I will always get to keep that and she made it for us and I just think that's really nice I love homemade things I think people get so swept up into the commercialism and oh how much do I spend when actually if you put some thought into it it doesn't need to cost a lot I love this I think it's really really sweet so I'm gonna find a way to hang it to my door while we still got Christmas decorations allowed and I think this is lovely so very very happy delightful last non-disney thing we got our first ever big potato games now me and maria love our games nights we quite frequently have people over so we got the game the chameleon we played it literally yesterday christmas day and it is great so we played it with four people and i'm really excited to play it with a few more and introduce it to people so i think i can see the new year having a few games nights because this is great but the whole idea is that someone is a kind of undercover chameleon one person in the group will be a chameleon you have to kind of work out who the person is and it's quite stressful I was a chameleon once and people worked it out and like I like high pressure games like I get so stressed in exploding kittens and yeah, I think this is a good, good game. So if you haven't ever checked out Big Potato Games, go check them out. And I'm really excited for some game nights with this. Disney, let's do this. Oh, okay, I've got one thing that's not Disney, but I kind of put in the pile with Disney because I wasn't sure where it fit. Um, we introduced our mum to EMP. Yes, this is a great thing. <laughs> So she's kind of ordered us a whole lot of things off there, which I am not complaining about at all. That is like, yes, thank you. She loves the Minions and she got us these, both Maria's got the same pair, Minion kind of board shorts. I think they're so cute. I'm so excited to wear them. Uh, I love board shorts. I haven't bought board shorts in a long time and they are the comfiest things to wear. So I love those and they are EMP. So Disney, just go through it got this lovely lady in the tramp key ring I believe it's from the Disney store but I'm not entirely entirely sure but I think that's really cute love lady in the tramp so I'm very very happy with that alongside that I got this beautiful such a nice color mug 
she looks so so cute and it's a really nice size i love the detail because it's all striped on the outside it's actually polka dot in on the inside it's really cute i love this very sweet disney store so i'm very grateful for that can't go wrong with a disney mug speaking of tea and everything this was a huge surprise i've not seen this anywhere and again the whole thing is i drink green tea i do have some loose leaf teas and I've got a diffuser thingy but I thought I had a diffuser then I saw this diffuser and no other diffuser ever existed in my life before because it's a Mrs Potts tea diffuser I can't even like explain how excited I was by this like so tea obviously goes in this little thingy you put that in a mug and she'll just hang over the top I love it I don't even know where it's from I've never seen it before I love that that's the EMP um, selection. I've got a skirt. So this one I think is a really nice subtle Disney. So I'm hoping you can see around the bottom of the skirt each clock has Peter Pan on it and so it's a subtle Disney and though I'm not a subtle person by any means but I like that. I think that's a very nice subtle Disney very pretty and then the other last EMP bit it's a bit wrinkled from the being folded up is another but longer skirt and it is a Alice in Wonderland print which is so so cute I absolutely love that and I think it's the kind of skirt you could almost wear with a petticoat under to puff it out if you wanted to do I mean petticoat but yes very excited by those um this carried on with the clothing theme complete surprise from the disney store and i absolutely love this she is beautiful and sassy and everything and this is just i love the stripes on the arms i love the detail and i just think it's a nice kind of i would say this was subtle disney but um people will probably disagree with me love a jumper kind of live my life in jumpers so perfect and I'd love that the Disney store are doing more adult range you can't like that's brilliant brilliant okay these are a surprise from Hong Kong I've got two Disney face packs so we've got a bell one and it has a kind of pattern I think so like I think it's got a rose and different bits from the film on it and this is a Minnie Mouse one and I think this might be one that looks like the character and I love those because they're hilarious and quite scary looking so I'm quite excited I think me and Maria might have a go at those at some point and we got this game Pictopia Disney edition basically you it's all based on pictures and you have to vote for your answer based on these four pictures so each round has four pictures and the questions depending on what thing you land on um, will relate to these pictures so it's quite a fun game very out there I think it's very family friendly so if you're a real Dis nerd it may not challenge you as much however having said that we found most of the questions really easy me and Maria and then there was one about ships Disney ships which is quite a specific knowledge and well I asked the question so I wasn't involved but they did not get it right so there's seven plus so if you're looking for a family game pretty good now I tend to resist Kath Kisten because I I can't justify it and I love it all I absolutely love the Disney Kath Kisten range I have to say I didn't even look at the Bambi one because I was just like don't do it I know I'm gonna love it I don't want to feel disappointed that I can't get any of it but the great thing is Christmas came along so we got these gorgeous you know you've re reached a certain age when you say gorgeous oven gloves I mean look at them how cute are they and they're like calf kiss and quality so they feel nice and I can be like hello and then get things out of the oven and the last thing well it's a kind of a double whammy is this little pot ceramic pot with Thumper and Bambi and it's so so cute I love it but inside mini eggs for anyone who knows me and Maria have a mini egg oh, 
obsession. The saddest day of 2018 was the day we ran out. But my friends, Christmas is over. So mini eggs are coming back. Overall, I am very, 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 very grateful and very happy with everything I got. I think there's a whole mixture. And yeah, been great. Thumbs up from me. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hope it was reasonably interesting. And let me know what you got for Christmas. Let me know if you've got any of these for Christmas. Also, if you do ever use Lush Bubble Bars, how do I use them? Give me some advice, please. And also, let me know if you have any big potato games that are worth playing, because that's something I kind of want to look into more. I love new games, so do let me know. But yeah, thank you. I hope you had a good Christmas, and I'll see you very soon.